a parent knows best. So basically this is a saying about how a parent knows your child best. But what if we ask them if of outside play or electronic I'm sorry, educational videos from smartphones, tablets, computers is beneficial for them? What would they say? One of the most important way for a child to develop is through outside play. Outside play is a big factor in development, especially for a child's brain development. With all the advanced technology we have today, parents rely on smartphones, tablets, computers to keep their child in a calm state, but is it really benefiting them? Mm. Having a little sister and seeing her on YouTube, although she is watching educational videos, I ask myself, is this really benef helping her develop or just having her learn? And as my major being in child development, I feel as this is important. Today I will inform everyone on why important, how important it is for a child to play. So first I will talk about the importance of play, then I shall talk about how technology delays development, and lastly I will talk about how we can balance technology and encourage more play in a child's life. So first I will talk about how play is important. Children who engage in physical play tend to develop stronger critical thinking skills as well as brain development. Play is a great factor in child development. It helps with their sense of motor skills as well as their fitness and health. It also helps strengthen their lungs and their muscles as they play outside, run, jump around. It also helps them become one with nature as they take a deep breath of fresh air and able to look at different types of animals and insects. Inside play is just as important as outside play. A big important play for children is dramatic play. According to Kenneth, Ginsburg in the article, The Importance of Play Promoting Healthy Child Development and Maintaining Strong Parent-Child Bonds in 2007, states that play allows children to use their imagined and creative side, as well as develop their cognitive, emotional, and physical strength. So first I talked about how important play is. Next I will talk about how technology delays development. Children who spend time in electronics experience delay on brain development. Technology is everywhere, it's taken over society. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, there's somebody on their phone, even a kid. Parents believe that a child being on a device, even though they're watching educational videos, is good for them. Although they are learning their ABCs, their numbers, it doesn't really help them develop. Um, according to the article, The Impact of Screen Time for Kids states that children under the age of two who are exposed to technology are more like are more likely to develop learning disabilities, uh, have trouble dealing with their emotions and feelings, and exhibit problems in behaviors at school and at home. Children who are being fed more than two hours of screen time can result in decreased attention span, delayed language, um, and decreased motivation. Kids nowadays use up to seven hours a day of technology. This can lead to them being very aggressive, very fearful and have a hunger for violence. Now I talked about how technology delays development. Now I'll talk about how we can balance technology and encourage more play. Balancing technology and encouraging more play will help the child's brain development as well as not giving up educational videos. One way to balance tech and one, one way to balance technology and play is to use parental settings on phones such as tablets, smartphones, and computers. On iPhones, there is a screen time a screen time option on the settings app, and there is also an app called Free Screen Time Parental Control, and it's available on iPhones and Androids. According to the article, Be a Role Model, Find a Healthy Balance with Media and Technology by Caroline Knorr, 2017, states that parents should have less distractions during homework and dinner time. Children learn from their parents and will pick up on, on their habits. They see some ways to prevent bad habits is to use technology together with your child and start good habits such as limiting time with technology. To finish this off, the growth of a child is important and it is why we should encourage more play. First I talked about how play is important. Then I talked about how we can delay technology. And lastly I talked about how we can balance technology and encourage more play. So as you can see here, 90% of a child's brain is developed before the age of five. So children use an average of seven hours a day and that really delays their development. So that is not good.
So today I informed everybody about physical about how physical play helps with a child's development. Play is a very important factor in a child's life. So in the future, if you ever have kids or if you have kids now, encourage them to play outside because it will help their growth.